Hello everybody, my name is Gamerage101 and I'm your father. So the Modern Warfare gameplay that you're going to be seeing here comes from Infinity Ward's direct channel on YouTube and it's actually in 4K resolution whereas this video is only going to be in 1080p. So if you want to see that gameplay in 4K, I'll put a link to it down in the description if you haven't already seen it. So with the hype of Modern Warfare 2019 finally dying down a little bit after the information dump that was the multiplayer reveal, I decided to make a video that's essentially going to amount to thought vomit and really just a basic level of information that I've seen and heard and give my opinion on the game so far. Now keep in mind that I am not someone who has had hands-on experience with the game so it's all based on what I've seen and full disclaimer I'm not going to even begin to delve into the discussion about microtransactions due to the fact that we know nothing about them yet. Everyone's over here screaming their heads off going re about the MTX and they're bad. We all know they're bad. They're horrible, and I'm not going to pretend otherwise. Just understand that I'm going to avoid that topic due to a lack of information. So, there's no reason to freak out over this just yet. I do feel like they may be bad, but we don't know for sure, so we're moving on. To begin the video, I actually don't want to start talking about Modern Warfare just yet. I want to talk about past games and their designs. For anyone who wants me to get to a point, here's my overall opinion on Modern Warfare so far, though. I am 100% on board with this game. It looks and feels like classic Call of Duty. It's a Call of Duty that I have been waiting for since Modern Warfare 3. I am not really a huge fan of Treyarch aside from Black Ops 1 and 2. Black Ops 3 and 4 were not great games to me and I'm not really a big fan of Sledgehammer games either. So for me personally, Infinity Ward was always the top dog. But then they made games like Ghosts, which to me I enjoyed but will openly admit that I had some pretty bad issues. And then there's Infinite Warfare that actually had a decent campaign and writing and the story was good, but the multiplayer was kind of just lacking to me, for maybe lack of a better word. I prefer the actual classic Call of Duty experience, which seemed like something we were never going to get until Sledgehammer revealed World War II. But to avoid going on a rant about that game, I'm just going to say fuck that game and leave it at that for now. Though, I will give Sledgehammer some praise for the revamp they did to the game after Michael Condry left halfway through its life cycle. But the game as a whole was just disappointing with poor map design being one of the biggest blunders. But with that said, that also isn't something that is exclusively a Sledgehammer problem. After all, Treyarch is just as bad with Black Ops 3 and 4, 4 especially. Infinite Warfare also suffers from this a little bit as well, but not quite to the same extreme. Call of Duty hasn't been a very attractive series for maybe five or six years now, and it has definitely gotten stale with all the sci-fi future bullshit. And that's not to say sci-fi is bad per se, but we got so much of it that the fatigue set in really fast. Looking back, we had a lot of variety back in the good days when it came to setting. To a degree. We got a modern game, and then we got a World War II game again, and then modern, and then the Cold War, and then modern, and then the future. We had uh, a lot of breaks between the modern games. The takeaway being that we had breaks between the modern games and the games that we had breaks from offset the fatigue a little bit. But in the last few years, it's been all future except for World War II. And that was supposed to take us back, but it just ended up being shit in my opinion. The reason I'm talking about the previous game so much is because from what we've seen and heard, Modern Warfare 2019 is going to take us both backwards and forwards. The game, by the looks of things, is a fantastic culmination of the best parts of the franchise, starting with the core of the game, the thing that keeps us all coming back for more, the gameplay. I cannot wait to get hands on with this game, but what is the key to a fun Call of Duty when it comes to gameplay? Well, one big factor that came up earlier was map design. Think back to Modern Warfare 1, 2, and 3 and their map design. Even their three lane maps had variety and plenty of ways to get around and lots of cover and wider open areas, plenty of different ways you could fight. Three lane design is not an inherent problem, but when your game has nothing but three lane maps, looking at you Sledgehammer and Treyarch, it gets old really fast because every map plays the same. Go left, go middle or right, head peek, and try to win a head to head gunfight at the centers of each point. This gets old really fast because there's no variance, no way to move around aside from one or two doorways in the lanes. The other aspect that has been borderline absent from the last few games is power points. Places on the map that are desirable for various reasons such as its ability to be fortified with traps, or lines of sight to the enemy locations being a humongous advantage. 
They even mentioned this in the reveal, it basically gave you a minor objective in TDM, which added to the fun factor and re uh, replayability. Map design is arguably just as, if not more important than the core gameplay at this point. Because we already know COD to have solid gameplay, but the thing that was killing it for me was the poor map design in the last few years. We also have the new gunsmith system, which allows you to put five attachments on both your primary and your secondary, with each gun having anywhere between 30 to 60 attachments for you to choose from. Each attachment has pros and cons, which actually means that if you do things mindlessly, you can make your guns worse. But I'll avoid speculation on the actual effects until I get my hands on experience. But one example is the amount of sights you can choose from on the M4 alone. Holy shit. Another thing is the conversion kits. Some of the guns have something called conversion kits, which allows you to change the guns into a different caliber. This is how you take the AK-47 and turn it into the AK-74U, for example. But any other guns, I'm unsure of. I know you can convert the M4's 556 into a 458 SOCOM and make the attachments fit in more of a DMR style rifle, which is really interesting to me. And I'm super excited to make some really stupid guns using the gunsmith, and I will for sure do some videos on this stuff in the future. So, killstreaks over score streaks is an interesting one because for me, I actually prefer the point streak system we saw in Modern Warfare 3 and Ghosts. But Killstreaks is also fine by me. The score streak system was never my favorite due to the fact that it didn't balance well with every game mode. I didn't really want to always have to sweat in objective modes to be able to get streaks. Sometimes I liked being able to just carry on my killing power alone. But on the flip side, I understand the appeal of score streaks. Thankfully, for those of you who prefer score streaks, there's supposedly a perk that changes them into exactly that. Though I don't know what the balancing would be like for them, so, you know, we'll have to wait and see. But the one thing I will say is that the streaks look very powerful though, and that's something I've missed very dearly. The streaks in the last few games have been underwhelming and were almost never worth their costs. But in this game, at least for its higher streaks, seems like it's going back to the good shit. <laughs> there are some other topics that I had in mind, but I may save those for another video as to not drag this one on for too long. But if you guys want to hear it, I'll make another video talking about the following. Uh, big battles, such as the 32v32 in Battle Royale, uh, 2v2, Search and Destroy slash Cyber Attack, the Nuke, uh, some more Power Points and some more Modern Warfare examples, I could go into that a little bit more, and also the Realism Mode, that's actually something that's very interesting to me. But if you guys want to see another video on that stuff, I'll be sure to make another video, I just didn't want to drag this one on for too long, and I really just wanted to get my basic opinion on the game. There are some things that I think they should address, some, like to fix in the game. Uh, just to give you an immediate example, I do not think those stopping power rounds should be in the game. But other than that, you know, I could leave that off for another video. If you guys want me to make a video, feel free to let me know. But for now, that's what I'll leave you with. And if you guys like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like the content I'm putting out, please subscribe to the channel. And I will see you in the next video. Okay, bye!